Good morning, students. This is Murthy sir. In the last class, you have learnt about the four physical methods of dressing the ore and the extraction of metals at the top, middle, and bottom of the activity series. Today, let us learn further about extraction of metals in detail. First, let us see the chemical process of extraction of lead. Lead sulphide reacts with oxygen to form lead oxide and sulphur dioxide. The metal oxide formed is then reduced to the corresponding metal by using suitable reducing agent in the following manner. Reduction of metal oxide with carbon. The oxides are reduced by coke in a closed furnace which gives the metal and carbon monoxide CO. Lead oxide reacts with carbon at 1400 degrees centigrade high temperature to form lead metal and carbon monoxide is formed. You know carbon monoxide is highly toxic. Now let us see extraction of iron. Ferric oxide reacts with carbon monoxide in blast furnace to form iron metal and carbon dioxide. Students already you know iron has two valencies plus 2 and plus 3. Fe2 plus is ferrous and Fe3 plus is ferric. Here you can see the construction or the structure of blast furnace. In Vizag steel plant is there. In steel plant this blast furnace is used for the manufacturing of steel. Now let us learn about extraction of copper metal which is a good conductor of electricity. For the extraction of copper metal, self-reduction of sulphide ores is used. In the extraction of copper from its sulphide ore, the ore is subjected to partial roasting in air to give its oxide. Let us see the chemical reaction. Cuprous sulphide reacts with oxygen to form cuprous oxide plus sulphur dioxide. When the supply of air is stopped and the temperature is raised, the rest of the sulphide reacts with oxide and forms the metal and sulphur dioxide. Cuprous oxide reacts with cuprous sulphide, gives rise to copper metal and sulphur dioxide. This is the process of extraction of copper metal. Students already you have learnt copper has two valencies Cu plus 1 and Cu plus 2. Cu plus 1 is cuprous, Cu plus 2 is cupric. Now let us learn about dermite reaction. It is an exothermic reaction. In exothermic reaction heat is liberated. The dermite reaction takes place between metal and metal oxide. For example, the reaction between aluminium and metal oxide where aluminium acts as a reducing agent. Here aluminium reduces the metal oxide that is iron oxide to produce iron and aluminium oxide. In this reaction, iron oxide is actually ferric oxide. You have to remember one thing. Iron has two valencies, plus 2 and plus 3. Lower valency is ferrous and higher valency is ferric. Let us see the chemical reaction. Aluminium metal reacts with ferric oxide to form iron metal and aluminium oxide. This is a displacement reaction. Now let us see the uses of dermite reaction, its applications. The reaction is used for dermite welding. The reaction is used to connect railway tracks. The reaction is also used in the demolition of ammunition and metal refining. Students, in this picture you can see dermite reaction is applied for connecting the railway tracks. Now let us move on to the refining or purification of metals. Students now let us learn about refining or purification of metals. This is third stage. Already you know first stage is concentration or dressing of the ore. Second stage is extraction of metals. And the third stage is refining or purification of metals. In metallurgy Refining consists of purifying an impure metal. It is to be distinguished 
from other processes such as smelting and calcination. In those two, it involves a chemical change to the raw material, whereas in refining, the final material is usually identical chemically to the original one. The methods that can be adopted for refining or purification of metal are distillation, polling, liquidation, and electrolysis. Distillation. This method is very useful for purification of low boiling metals like zinc and mercury, containing high boiling metals as impurities. The extracted metal in the molten state is distilled to obtain the pure metals as distillate. Now let us see the apparatus. One thermometer is inserted in a distilling flask. Condenser is there and receiving flask is there. So with the help of this apparatus, distillation process is carried out. In the second type of method, polling, the molten metal is stirred with logs of green wood. The impurities are removed either as gases or they get oxidized and form slag over the surface of molten metal. In the, in the third type of method, liquidation, low melting metals like tin can be made to flow on a slopey surface to separate it from high melting impurities. Students, in this picture you can see how polling process is done. One log of wood which is made up of bamboo is used in this process. And here you can see liquidation. Crude metal is there on the sloppy surface and heat is supplied and pure metal is collected in a container below. Now let us move on to the fourth type of method, electrolytic refining. In electrolytic refining, impure metal is made as anode and pure metal is made as cathode and they are put in an electrolytic cell containing soluble salt of same metal. The required metal gets deposited on the cathode in the pure form. Students, already you learned that negative electrode is cathode and positive electrode is anode. Generally, in electrolytic cells, graphite rods are used as electrodes. Graphite is a non-metal but a good conductor of electricity. Here you can see the apparatus when battery is there, anode and cathode two electrodes are there and one electrolytic cell and this is the process of electrolytic refining 